to look in the year 2000. A doctor reported that eight popcorn factory workers became super sick with a very rare lung disease that became known as, maybe you've heard of it today, popcorn lung. Oh yeah, popcorn lung, real thing, real thing. It's actually called bronchiolitis obliterans, but I can't say that, so we'll put it on screen. Do you need to know what it, how to say it? No, just look up popcorn lung, you're fine. And four of the eight workers were so sick they had to be put on the lung transplant waiting list. Horrible. So like, what was making them so sick? Turns out it was the vapor from the popcorn's artificial butter. It's like a chemical known or called diacetyl. I think I nailed that one. The factory workers who were packing the bags of microwave popcorn were inhaling these vapors all day, every day. And I mean, it must have felt like like a really great perk at first, inhaling buttery popcorn smell all day. If they made that as an air freshener, I would, I would. So it must've been kind of nice, but really the vapors that they were inhaling, they were toxic. They were making them sick. These workers started coughing nonstop. They were feeling intense shortness of breath. They were getting really sick. And this was the chemical vapor essentially tearing apart their lungs, slowly suffocating the workers to death. And scarily enough, the American popcorn manufacturers didn't stop using this butter chemical until 2007. And it's not even like a banned chemical. It's in lots of other things still to this day, like vapes. I was kind of like thinking about this and I got the chills because like didn't the Nahua God like punish people for messing with their corn? Chemical butter, messing with the corn. Look at, maybe the God was angry. Bitch, I just, I don't know, I don't know.